Yo, what's going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to the second episode of FIFA 17. Let's play Road to Glory. Really enjoying playing all the games so far. Uh, FIFA is, you know, FIFA 17 is really enjoyable, the gameplay especially. Uh, the, the players on the market are, you know, fairly affordable. We've got some nice new players in this league that are good and cheap to use. So straight away off the bat, we actually go for a new right back and a new left back. So we've got Robertson, who actually starred in my yesterday's video as you know one of the players in my cheap BPL squad. So if you missed that video, go and check it out. And most importantly, if you missed the first episode of this Rose Glory, go and check that out too. So Robertson, 1,300 coins. Darmian, 1,400 coins. That really boosts up the defense now and uh, stops these fast wingers attacking uh, down the sides. Um, but guys, I asked in the last episode, what goalkeeper I should go for? I got Begovic. I think he was just about four, four and a bit thousand coins, so like four thousand three hundred. And also the camera settings, I said I will adjust in the future episodes. So that's what we're doing now. We've got tele broadcast, and I'll change the camera setting zoom to seventeen and then three. And I actually picked this up back in FIFA 15 from a, another fellow YouTuber called Ovi, and uh, this is what he's been using for a while. And I feel like it gets a better perspective on the pitch. You feel like you're looking down a bit more, um, but at the same time, it's it's quite zoomed out, so you can see these runs and free balls that you can make with with your players but we go up 1-0 here Shane Long missing an absolute sitter there all he has to do is get it on target really but obviously a uh, very tough situation there and uh, again getting through Shane Long another opportunity made for I think it's Whelan but he's not a very good attacking player he's a defensive midfielder he didn't have uh, much power on that either coming to the end of the game I already know I won but I thought I'd have a little crack here with Son and he is deadly once he gets into the box um, because he's got five star weak foot, players don't know what to do. They don't know whether to go onto his left foot, his right foot. It's just a great option to have. So, Rose Glory rules change. I said with my packs, I'll get three packs if I win, one if I draw, and also one if I lose. But obviously, 5k and 7.5k packs difference there. But now we've changed it up because a lot of you guys were requesting no packs at all. I don't want to do that because I want to add a little bit of randomness with these packs. So, I've decided if I win a game, I get only one 7.5k pack. Now, if I draw, I get one 5k pack, and if I lose, I get nothing. So, I get no rewards if I lose the game. And I feel like that is a much better way to do the series. As I said, I do love doing classic Road to Glories, but I want to finish the series in under 15 episodes. So, not only are we going to keep opening packs, but I'm also going to be putting five games a worth of gameplay in each episode as a minimum. I may even start to do like one season on divisions for each episode. So, I'm not sure when that will come into play. I've only recorded uh, this one so far. So, you guys get to choose. Now after that, I went onto the market, had quite a bit of coins, so I started to go mad and started to buy loads of players. I needed a cam again. Furt was someone that featured in the, the cheap squad yesterday and he cost me 1,400 coins. He was actually cheaper the day before. Literally the day before you could pick him up for 950 coins or at least I did anyway. Amrabat for 200, uh, 200, 2,000 coins which is an absolute steal because he's got pace, he's in the BPL and uh, he's got 4 star skills too and I really really like using him. And then I go for the right mid, go for Tor as well who is a Turkish player and he was also in the cheap BPL squad. So a lot of taking a lot of inspiration from my own squad builder yesterday but no it's because obviously we're building the BPL league at the moment and these are the best players I find from this league but we do go 1-0 down here a little bit unfortunate I was all over this guy he had the opportunity which you know you've got to give credit to him he did make the most of his opportunity and uh, it was Sun actually who I do rate quite a bit so I couldn't be too angry with myself I still had another half to get a goal back which we was as you can see there 10 shots 10 shots of the goal 5 on target most possession uh, but it just wasn't happening um, Begovic has been great for me. Um, I've obviously I don't want to ruin the episode so far, but we don't concede too much in in the rest of the games of this episode. Here we go through. I've been cutting onto his right foot the whole game, so I decided you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna attack down the left, and hopefully something comes from it. And I got super lucky. I basically just walked the goal, uh, walked the ball into the back end at 90th minute. Well, not 90th minute, but coming up to the 90th minute, I had a little crack there with Sun. Hitting the post, that would have been, and I'd be so devastated if I was the other guy because, to be fair to him, once he scored that goal, he wasn't giving me many opportunities. So, game ended 1 1. That means that I'm now allowed a 1 5k pack instead of 1 7.5k pack, and we're one point away from getting the title win for Division 10. So, a little bit frustrating actually that you know I've got two draws now, but um, as I said, we do, we do improve our ability to play FIFA 17 through this episode. And that's why I love doing these Road to Glories. I get better at the game. I let you guys know how I get better. What is it that I'm doing? How have I changed? You know, you get to see, obviously, especially this FIFA, how to take free kicks because I am terrible at the moment at free kicks. And you'll probably see a couple in this episode. I am absolutely awful. Uh, but we go out and buy 
a brand new player. I go and buy uh, Pereira, and he is awesome. Another Watford player, actually. A lot of brilliant, pacey players from Watford this year. And um, I actually decided to change his chemistry style in a future episode. But we go up against this team here, which seems to be a French team. I was playing late at night, something like 3 in the morning to come up against this guy. So I'm always a little bit nervous about that, because you never know what the connection's going to be like. But as you can see there... I just can't get to grips with the accuracy of these free kicks. Now, I understand the curve, I understand the position, and you can move the players and you know change the run styles and everything, but I feel like the ball is really light, and free kick accuracy of like 70 on previous FIFAs was enough, but whereas this one, you feel like you've got to have a lot higher free kick accuracy to get it on target, maybe at least 80+. plus. Uh, but this game, we go 1-0 up. Nice cheeky chip there from Amrabat, but he was offside. We do get through again. I took it a little bit early there. He did rush to keep her out, and I thought he was going to keep coming out. Um, but we do manage to get through here. He slides, or he brings his keeper out a little bit too far. So I'll slow down my run, take my time, go around the keeper, put it away for 2-0. And uh, we managed to win the title. We get a nice little boost of coins there as well. So we decided to open, well, didn't decide. We get to open up another pack, a 7.5k pack. And again, another Watford player. He looks, he looks half decent. He won't be uh, going to, going into my squad anytime soon. There's you know a lot better strikers than him from the BPL and for well the same price pretty much. So decided just to quick sell him. Thought I'd check him out on the market though because if you guys open packs, whatever it is, even a bronze player, if they do look good, make sure you check out how much they're selling for. You may find that a player sells for you know a few hundred coins more than their discard price. The first, at the very early stages of FIFA, it's essential just to make sure you get as much money from every single player that you're listening or even contracts and fitness cards on the market. Um, after this, I decided we do need a new right back. So I decided to get Manquillo, who cost me 1,400 coins, and Moses, who cost me 700 coins. Moses is also in the cheap squad, and he's actually come down a little bit in price. There seems to be a lot of him on the market. I find the non-rare players the most seem to shoot down in price because obviously they are a lot more common in packs, and people just list them up, especially if they don't go for discard price. People will just list them up for 150 start, and it just fills up the market. Going to our next game. As you can see here, we get through with our silver. And to be fair, he's been a very good silver. So for anyone that's building a silver BPL squad, you could use him. Or even in your main BPL squad, he's you know hasn't shown that he's, he's a silver, to be fair to him. Uh, but a nice finish here. I think that's our, uh, our right back with his left his, his weak foot. That's a very nice finish indeed. 2-0 up. And very early on in the game, I start to really dominate here. And he gets a little bit unfortunate. I think this is a little bit harsh. He managed to get himself on the red card sheet. So that means that um, he's down to 10 man very early in the game. But I knew he had a pretty decent team. I'm, I think this is the team that had Müller. Yes, it is the team that had Müller. Because I remember this goal specifically. Lovely goal. One of the uh, the best goals scored against me so far. Uh, it's like a crossbar and in into the side netting. So very nice placement. Can't really be angry at Begovic for that. Um, he's done pretty well so far. I'll go through here and make it 3-1 with Shane Long. And... Um, Sun here getting through. I decided to uh, cut over to the left side. Uh, I think he was he was watching me. Most of the game I was trying to get onto my right foot. So he, he thought I was going to take a shot on my right foot. Here getting through with Fur as well. And he's brilliant. I've, I covered it in the cheap squad uh, previously. But um, he is absolutely amazing. Uh, his stats don't look incredible. They look you know well balanced. But... He just performs so good. I'm probably going to do some kind of special video on him as a cheap alternative to a player. I don't want to ruin it because I don't want to like ruin the surprise of who it might be. But I definitely want to do some more stuff with Leroy Fur, Maybe put him in some more squad builders and uh, keep him for a long time in his current squad. Um, so going to our next game. Our last game of this episode. So we're doing pretty well so far. We haven't got any losses on our account. And um, we actually come up against this squad here, which was low chemistry. And I thought to myself, hopefully, he's not very good at the game. And uh, we do get off to a good start. We was really peppering him. We've had great opportunities here. Amrabat, obviously, uh, volleys can't be a strong point because that was atrocious. That's the kind of finish I imagine a centre-back to have. But Tor getting through here, but not on target. It was a great run. And that's what he, he loves to do. You don't see a lot of uh, Tor in um, the clips, the highlights, because he doesn't seem to score a lot of these runs that he makes, which is frustrating because he is such a great player. Uh, but here, Amrabat getting onto the ball, lovely finish, and that's what I love about the new FIFA 17, the physics engine. It just looks so much more realistic, and the finish, the finesse, it just looks perfect. Um, but coming up to 62 minutes, um, he actually does get a goal back. I'm still uh, you know, attacking him and making as many opportunities as I can. Uh, but his goalkeeper was on form, as you can see. He's on fire, saving pretty much everything I threw at him. 
Leroy Fur held up the play a little bit there just to uh, confuse him, slow down everything. And uh, I think it, I can't actually pronounce his name, but it was one of my bad centre mids actually managed to get a goal there. And Amrabat finishing up what Tor couldn't finish because, to be fair to him, he is very left footed. So um, if he's on his right foot, he's not going to be able to uh, do much. Lovely chip there from. Uh, from Fur, and as I just said, the physics engine is just brilliant, and that leaves that leaves this episode with a 5-1 win, and uh, I get to open up another pack, which I forgot to do at the end of this episode. So we'll start that at, at the start of next episode. But guys, I do need a new left back, so I want you to leave in the in the comments some suggestions. Which ones have you found to be the best if you've been on the game so far? Or maybe you can look on Footheads and choose a player for me. So make sure to smash the likes, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the series, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.